futuristic. Futuristic is the theme of the loot crate this month. Sorry, I had to Google that. Uh, all right, futuristic is the theme this month. So what I... Oh, I still have to be back in 10 minutes thing up. Sorry. Where is it? There it is. Uh, futuristic, so I don't know. My computer must have known. It's got the FLCL, uh, Conti, robots. Everything I do is robots. <laughs> Um, absolutely. Professional. So, the theme is futuristic. So, uh, some of the items were supposed to come from Futurama, Rick and Morty, Mega Man, um, and a couple other things. I was really keen on the theme this month because I'm a kind of a big science fiction dork. Um, I like everything Futurama. I love Mega Man. I, plenty of my streams have been me playing Mega Man. Um, Rick and Morty is a fantastic show. Uh, and just about any other kind of science fiction out there is good to me. But the, So the theme was futuristic. So normally, for a long time, I was a Luke, regular Loot Crate subscriber. Now I subscribe to Loot Crate DX. But this month, because this month I was, it was so highly anticipated for me, I decided to get the little loot crate and the big loot crate. So we got a loot crate XL tonight. We're gonna do both loot crates. We're gonna do the the uh, there it is. I shouldn't have thrown it on the ground. We're gonna do the regular loot crate first, um, and then we're gonna do the big loot crate. So, again, guys, the theme is futuristic, um, and I hope that we all enjoy this. Um, I'm so ill-prepared. I don't have a knife, so i got to use a pen that I got out of another Loot Crate. I have everything I have is Loot Crate. Everything I own is Loot Crate. I'm wearing a Loot Crate t-shirt. There's Loot Crate stuff on my ceiling. There's Loot Crate toys over there, everywhere. So as is customary and my tradition, and you're going to get both boxes like this, I do a sneak peek. So my sneak peek is right here. And there's some neat stuff in there. I really hope that's not what I think it is for the Mega Man. I do see. Um, I'm going to put my... Oh, I shouldn't do that. Because now it's... Whoa. That is like from the future, guys. I, uh, so anyway, so we have a future scene on the inside of the box. It looks like maybe from Futurama, it could be, or Blade Runner, or any, you take your pick on dystopian futures and future things. So I'm going to start with the first thing in here. Oh, there's Star Trek stuff in here too. The first thing I see is this Futurama thing. So this Futurama thing I really like a lot. This is going to end up going upstairs at my TV. Um, this is what looks like a Futurama Planet Express spaceship um, model or figurine. And I kind of love it already. And this is just the little loot crate. I can only imagine what's in the big, big loot crate. Um... So I'm going to take it apart real quick, put it together, and show you guys. This looks like it does cool stuff, um, I think. We will see. I love it. I love it. I'll tell you that. Uh, last month in the Loot Crate DX, I got. I'm so glad I got the little Loot Crate too. Um, I'm already so glad. This is totally for whatever I paid, 15 bucks or something. I love it. Um, so is this just a, it's just a magnet and it holds it on. I, the green screen is really screwing things up. Um, but it's a little Planet Express ship on a really nice little base and it, it's magnetized on there. So 
you can take it off and play with it and be like, and you can play. Um, but I think it's really cool. Um, re reliable interplanetary delivery service, the Milky Way and beyond. Good news, everyone. So that is that. I'm happy about this so far. Um, it doesn't suck yet. Yet. I've, uh, I gotta say, I've been, a lot of the Loot Crate stuff has been kind of like meh to me lately, but this Futurama Planet Express ship is awesome. Uh, what are we gonna do next? I'm going to look at the Star Trek thing that's in here. It's, uh, I don't know what this is. It's Star Trek. It's in a little black plastic. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, I always skip the Loot Crate books. I, I'd rather just find out than read about it first. Um, it feels cool. I don't know what it is. I don't even know if I should be opening it. I'm not still not sure what this is. USS Enterprise, Galaxy Class Starfleet Registry, NCC 1701D. Utopia, planetary, feet, yards, mass, blah, 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 blah. It's some sort of a placard. <laughs> I guess I could put this on a model if I had one. It, it is a sticker. It's, a, it's like a really heavy sticker. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's like a big sticker. You can stick that, I guess, wherever you'd like. I'm going to stick that, to be honest, back in the little pouch. Um, and move on. <laughs> so next is a Valiant comic book. I like when they put the comic books in. That was always something I liked about the small loot crates. I like the comic books and the books when they put them in. This is 4001 AD, number one. Uh, I don't know what this book is, but that looks like, I believe, is Rai. Um, there's a Valiant comic called Rai, R-A-I, um, or R-I-A, something. Uh, and it looks like him. I'm going to Google that real quick. Um, Google that shit. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the character Rye, but without everything. Um, without like he's got some other stuff, some other uh, some other markings and tattoos in the other comics. I only remembered. I only had an issue or two from back in the early. I'd say not even early, late nineteen nineties. Uh, when Valiant was really like just coming onto the scene, I have some some Rye comics. So this looks like it's uh, it looks like it's a Rye Future comic. So we're gonna hold that up again, show you guys. You get some head scratching. Four thousand one A.D. I'm gonna leave it in the bag. To be honest, if I wanted to read it, I wish I could get back more into comics, but time and money. I mean, I would love to be reading comics all day and then tell you guys all about them and that kind of thing, but <clears throat> time and money, two things I don't have enough of. Uh, that should hopefully change real soon. Um, ha! Now, I have a friend of mine who's a big Star Trek fan. I actually have a few big Star Trek fans, and normally I'm not a huge Star Trek fan, to be honest. I like The Next Generation, I like Deep Space Nine, the original was good, but it's still, I, Star Wars is my heart. And normally I give them my Star Wars, uh, Star Trek stuff that I get in the loot crates. I think I'm going to keep this um, Enterprise sticker though, I like stickers a lot and I think that's a cool one. Um, and I'm also going to be keeping this, this Star Trek pin. The Spock or the Vulcan um, sign for the Live Long and Prosper. Um, 
So that's cool. I love the way Loot Crate's been doing their new pins, by the way. They have these really, really nice uh, embossed um, pins. Heavy duty. They're not they're not the little um, they're not the little like uh, buttons that they used to give. The little buttons were kind of cheesy. Uh, what else we got here? We got the Loot Crate book. Um, probably got some cool puzzles and games. Yeah, it's got a little Luke, uh, little Rick and Morty coloring page. That's what I just opened it up to. So that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. I like that they included a little coloring um, coloring book in there. Oh, the Mega Crate though. Oh, why don't I ever win the Mega Crate, guys? Dear Loot Crate. Send me the mega crate. Um, hum, 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 hum. Yes, it's the Star Star Trek dedication plaque. So it's similar to the plaque that you'd see on um, like a ship or whatever. Uh, there's a little puzzle in here, but so it's just a book. It tells about some stuff. Um, nothing extra special there. Two last things. I'm going to save the t-shirt for last because I think that that might be the Rick and Morty thing. Um, so, this is pretty awesome. I'm not a huge blind box fan. What do they call them? Uh, blind boxes. Uh, da, da, da. i got to Google this one too. Uh-oh. My stream just crashed, so I, I think you guys can still see it, but I couldn't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the, the ga gas hopping, gas shopping. Um, oh, unless people are in here now. That's so sad. Not a huge fan of the gas shopping, but I am a huge Mega Man fan, and it looks like these are mostly from the original Mega Man. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too much stuff from Mega Man 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. It's all straight original NES Mega Man. Um, so, oh, when I ripped the box. That's okay. He's not going to go back in. It's a stupid box anyway. They got it all glued shut. Yeah, it, yeah. It's tough. I have a pretty poor internet connection, but... It should be recording, all right. Um, so it is a Kid Robot blind box. Kid Robot makes some pretty nice um, little figurines and things. And I, of course, got... I think this is... Quick? Quick Man? The pink one. Of course I got the pink one. Why? Why me? Why me? He's 1 in 20. Um, it's actually one of the rare ones. So that's cool. Um, 1 in 20. I did get. That's cool. Um, but I got the pink one. Uh, so there it is. It's just a little Mega Man Kid robot figurine. It's cool. I like. I don't care for all the figurines that you get. But this is an exception because this is a good one. This is a good Mega Man one. Like I got all stuff over here in my in my little nerd cave, and it's it's stuff that I I could take or leave most of it. Um, but this I like a lot. Um, all the really good stuff either goes upstairs in my my living room or at my office at work. Um, work. That's what that side was for. All right, and last but not least, all right, two last things. I'm going to show you the inside of the box. It is definitely a Futurama scene, and I'm assuming it's one of the ones where you unfold the box. Loop, loop, loop. Because I'm wicked good at this. You unfold the box. 
quick change. I'm doing a quick change here. It's like a transformer. Like, um, unfold the box, and boom. Let's see. Now you have a Loot Crate Futurama scene, and it's Hangar 1337. So if you're a noob, you don't know what the 1337 is, and then you put your Futurama model on it. Makes a, a Futurama diorama. Thank you, Lamar. Thank you very much. That was excellent observation. I would have never gotten that. I would have never put that together. The Futurama diorama. I love it. Uh, so Loot Crate probably had that in mind, and you picked up on it. So beautiful thing. Um, anyway, last but not least is the t-shirt that it came with, and I think it's going to be a Rick and Morty t-shirt, but I'm not sure. It's something t-shirt, and you guys can't see most of it, and I can't even tell what it is. I don't even know. That's, I got to look at this. No, I don't think this is. Yeah, it is a Rick and Morty. It's like all Rick and Morty or Rick's gadgets. And that's pretty neat. I like it. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty chill looking shirt. I like the colors of it. It's hard to see because all the gadgets are colored in with green, but it is definitely a Rick and Morty t-shirt with all the gadgets. So there's that. That's pretty cool. So that was definitely a really fun crate. Um, just to kind of recap, we got the... Star Trek The Next Generation Enterprise Commemorative Placard. <clears throat> we got the Futurama Planet Express ship. The Pink Mega Man. Super sweet t-shirt. Um, the comic. And the futuristic book. And the pin, of course, the pin. How can we forget the pin? Um, and that all came in that loot crate. Loot crate, uh, what is it? Uh, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. It's uh, usually under 20 bucks, and you get all that good stuff. And that's like this was a this was a this was jam packed full of good good value this time. Um, for a while, I was getting kind of bummed with. Uh, loot crate and uh, the stuff I was getting it was just kind of like the value was there but it wasn't great great stuff I didn't care for it <clears throat> this time around good stuff good stuff so we're gonna put all this stuff to the side and we're gonna do round two boom we're fighting round two round two is gonna be the loot crate DX for this month July the futuristic box so here's the DX. This is the Loot Crate for Grown Ups, if no one has ever seen it before. Um, ah, if I can open it. And I do the Loot Crate for Grown Ups. I like it a lot. It's a little bit more expensive. It's about twice the price, a little more, I think, than twice the price of the regular Loot Crate. But it's usually got a little bit more interesting of stuff in it, uh, more a little more high quality, a little more stuff for like household and and a little more high end stuff. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do you a sneak peek. This is really all you're gonna be able to tell when I do the sneak peek. Cause boom, they also whoa, what's that? Pacific Rim, what up? That's a cool inside of the box. I might have to cut that off and save that someplace. Uh they always do this wrapping paper, which is a really nice little touch. Makes you feel just that much more like you're getting a little bit more of a value. Um, but anyway, that Pacific Rim little mural on the inside is pretty chill, huh? I like that a lot. So, all right. Many things in here that I'm seeing already that I like. Um... I don't even know what's going on in here. I'm going to start with interesting. 
A towel? It's a Starfleet Academy towel. See, this works on a couple levels for the... Let's see. San Francisco. This works on a couple... Smells weird. It works on a couple levels uh, because it's futuristic. It's from Star Trek. And it's a towel. And if you know, you should never forget your towel. Always bring a towel with you. No matter what. And that's... That is absolute truth. Always bring a towel. Um, so what next? I do not know what this is. So this looks like... It's a bottle. It's like a movie prop repl replica. From uh, RoboCop, I guess. So that's interesting. Uh, it's just a bottle. Let's see. Let's see if it's got anything good on the uh, the label here on the inside. H2 Go Impact, 25 ounce single wall Triton bottle with threaded stainless steel for cold beverages, and that's it. That's all it says. I'll look at the. Um, the paper in a minute and see what's going on. Ooh, there's some cool stuff in here. I'm going to poop my pants. This is awesome. This shirt. I'm going to save this shirt. I am saving this shirt. Anyway, so we got a, a Jaeger from Pacific Rim, which is cool. I'll probably take this out and leave this down here or play with it. Um, I thought that uh, this is Gypsy Rose, or Gypsy Danger, I'm sorry. Um, and this was sort of like the main Jaeger in the Pacific Rim films. I liked the films a lot. It was a great sort of homage to kaiju and monster films. And wow, how cool. Ponderer, I hope you're still watching. You're going to get a kick out of the next thing that's in this box that I'm going to pull out and show you guys. So, yeah, anyway, uh, Pacific Rim was sort of an homage to Kaiju and uh, the giant robot battles, but it was a little bit more of a modern take, um, and it was a really good film for all for what it's worth. It had pretty good actors in it. I like Charlie Day a lot. Um Who else was in it? Ron Perlman played in it. Um, so those are two actors off the top of my head that I really enjoy that were in that movie. Uh, I don't know. The other guy, was it like, uh, I don't know, Channing Tatum or something? I don't know who the hell that guy was. He's famous and like women like him or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, cool Pacific Rim thing. Um, I like the pin. I'm going to show you guys the pin before I break out the other thing. I'm really hoping Ponderer shows up. Or if he's if he is, he's not listening anymore. Ponder doesn't love me anymore. So again, they they've been doing these really nice pins. Uh, and this one, this one's not even embossed. This one's like a glossy. I don't even know what, how, how, it's like a glossy pin, but it's a, a nice Rick and Morty pin. I don't know if you can get a good C on that. I got to do something with all these pins and make like a board or something. Uh, it's really tough to see. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Wow. Cool Rick and Morty pin though. It's uh, got Rick in the spaceship. Morty's like hanging out of a, hanging out of the door of it. I'm running out of places to put my pins, so I'm going to have to make like a pin board or something um, and do that. Um, yes. All right, Ponderer. So the, I'm doing the loot crate. I should be the ultimate pinhead. I, 
I'm doing the Loot Crate DX right now. I already did the regular Loot Crate. I don't know if you saw it. There was a lot of good stuff. But the Loot Crate DX has some really cool stuff in it. And I wanted to show you what came in it. Um, and it's a pretty good one. I, I'm going to look in the book to see if other ones, different, different ones came in it. But it came with this 1 144 scale model. Came with a 1 144 scale model. Can you guess? It says HG on it. Yeah, you have your own loot crate coming. Uh, this one says HG on it, so it's not it's not all the way to the top, but it's pretty good. But uh, it looks like it is from a series called Gundam, <laughs> and it looks like it is from the Iron Blooded Orphans. It's from the Iron Blooded Orphans series, the new one that's been on TV. It's hard to read it. I can't get it to focus. Yeah, HG, 144 scale model. And this is it. It's a pretty good one, too. I kind of like this one a lot. Um, I don't know if you can see on the side there. It is pretty goddamn good. So this came.